Hey everyone, what is going on? So today, what are we doing? Well today we're taking a look at the Time Monster set. Now this was a set that was released in between some um, major releases actually. You got the City of Death set and um, the Leela figure that came out, which was the, one of the first with the new Diamond logo that happened, which is kind of gone now, but yeah, they were, um, it was released in a sort of bit of a transition. And it's a very weird set. Um, it's not anything that anyone asked for. The only real selling point to collectors at the time was the computer bank machine and two of the accessories. The rest of the, the set, the um, other things, had already been released. Um, I myself, this was my first Roger Delgado Master figure, and I was brought. Uh, this was brought for me. I'm going to remove that. Uh, yeah, so we'll go straight into it. So I'll put the computer bank there. We'll look at the master, as portrayed by Roger Delgado. Uh, the articulation is pretty standard. The head can do a 360 degrees. Uh, the arms can move. So can the elbows and the... Uh, that part. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm tired. And then we've got 360 the wrist. We have a T-crotch joint. And if you notice on mine, there. There is actually, I don't know what it is, but a bit of glue there, which makes his legs stick out a bit. If you notice when he stands... Which is annoying and I'm trying to get rid of it, but yeah, thank god I got another one of the Jean Pert we I mean the third Doctor Collector set, so it's there's not a big of a problem. We have thigh articulation, knee, and no foot as uh didn't really need it in this figure. So the detail wise, so uh, we will start with the head sculpt to the master. It's a it's a pretty it's probably the best master head sculpt. Um Especially around the eyes, the paint job there is really nicely done. We've got the goatee beard with the detail excellent, excellently painted. The hair as well has got is sort of a dark grey with a white grey wash. Uh, we have the tanned sort of skin tone, as he, I think he was, um, had some Spanish ethnic scenes in him. I think. I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, uh, the eyes are probably the best thing. It really does look like Roger Delgado. Uh, moving down to the tunic sort of thing with the uh, neck. Um, it's not it's not hard to do the master's costume, but they really have gone the extra mile. It's even include the wrists, sort of straps on the sides, and then the gloves with the uh, three lines going. Um, oh, and you can see it clear clear on that one. Yeah, we've got the white at the end, the white of the shirt, and yeah, it's just a really nice figure. Um, obviously, this is pretty much how the master looked in. Most of season eight, um, any master episode except for probably Colony in Space and Frontier in Space, he looks like this at some point. Uh, same, maybe not in the Daemons, uh, well, very similar to the Daemons, but yeah. On the back, we have more creases. We have a sort of overlapping creases. It's going down the back, which I don't really remember, but yeah, it's nice. It's there. It looks very realistic. We have a line going down to a button on the arm which again is nice attention to detail and with a little dent at the top of the neck so that's the uh that's the top of the master and then down here on the legs of the black color again it's all matte no gloss at all with a line going down the trousers on each side of the legs and then the shoes are nicely done with sort of like i don't know what you'd call it like creases i guess in the shoes and that's not what they'd be to make them look like they're fitting a foot, and then with a little line, a sort of tub, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then we have got a distinction between the sole and the shoe itself. And then on the bottom, we have the detail of the inner of the shoe. No actual uh, sort of paint scuff detail or dirtiness, is it? it, it um, the master uh, always kept quite clean. But yeah, that's the uh, master figure. Now we'll look at. Take a look at his, um, at, it, at his accessories. Jesus Christ, I can't speak. So the sort of the um, the crystal of Kronos, which while the time monster itself isn't, it is the worst part of the story, and I think probably it's up there with the it's up there with Underworld for the 1970s stories is a bad. It's just awful, really. Um, yeah, what a way to end a, a, a awesome season ended with such shit. Anyway. Oh, trying to make it family friendly. You didn't hear that word, kids. It's uh, quite nicely done. We have uh, all the little crystals and that coming out with this, the big long one, which I remember uh, when I watched the story. 
Uh, yeah, it's quite. It's made out of a very uh, see-through plastic. It's not any form of glass. If it was any form of glass, then you know this set might actually be worth getting. Uh, then we have a glossy sort of uh, hold um, handheld piece, which I don't remember it being glossy. Maybe it was. I don't know. Uh, we have the TCE, the tissue compression unit. TCE, uh, the the thingy that the master holds, which is it's supposed to be held that way, not that way. You know, I've seen people display it the wrong way, round. Um, yeah, it's quite nicely done. We got uh, the paint job actually is really nicely done. Uh, no, not a bleed at all for an accessory. Just really nice. Yeah, but, uh, quite a nice accessory. And then we have the doctor's thingy, which my brother pointed pointed out. It kind of looks like the robot's face from Robot. Uh, if you look there, which I thought was interesting. And yeah, uh, uh, we'll use the Joe Grant figure from the story. Uh, to hold it because we don't really have anything anyone else from the store except for these two figures and technically the master if you want to be pedantics from terror of the autons that's how he was first seen but yeah it can fit into a companion or a uh, figure's hand just don't want to fit in that one maybe because it's from B&M but yeah quite nice we've got the detail of the little dials the dot and again the face thing and then the different ages of paint and the whole it's a very rubbery thing it's, you can bend it if you look yeah, maybe plastic's been warmed up, I don't know. But yeah, now to the biggest thing of the set. The D Master's TARDIS, or the computer bank. Now, for animations out there, this is pretty good, because there are so many of these in the uh, 70s and 80s stories that it uh, would look quite nice. Now, I've got a few problems with this. A, my bottom part has been painted properly, and you, you also can see there's a streak here. If you can get it in the right light, you can see. Uh, if you look, just keep looking there, there you go, you can see it. And if you look, notice there, it's not been painted properly. Also, uh, it's very, very cheap. It's been made on the cheap, uh, which is an amazing. And see, there's a bloody owl in it. Uh, how much would it have cost to just get the little thing to plop in there? If anything, it's probably. I mean, I know it's probably. Um, making it, it a hole is there but why not manufacture a thing to go on it i guess because it's on the bottom they thought ah, nah it'll be all right other than that though it's all rightly painted um yeah it's it's an annoying for me because i'm sad and all my stuff has to be displayed in one place place this is just in the background looking dead, if i'm honest um oh once again swearing sorry uh yeah, I mean it's nice the detail. We've got the discs and that. This is uh, this is how I remember it looking in the episode. But I just don't see the point of this set really. I mean I'm glad I've got it because it was my, f my only master for a while. But even so, I would have had a master by now if the set hadn't come out, even if the set hadn't come out. So I'm not quite sure what the point of it was. Maybe the we're just trying to get a set out there and thought we could they could do some new things. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, let's, let's look at my final thoughts. Yeah, the set, honestly, it's not the best set ever. Um, but then again, you know, it's not the worst. Personally, I give it an 8 out of um, eight out of 5. What am I on about? Probably a, a 4 out of 10. Because uh, it comes with some nice accessories. But then again, you know, I mean, it was a bit of a re-release. And not the best thing on the planet. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. If you did, please hit that like button. as It would help so, so much. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.